Hey fam, Alexa Rains here with another reaction. So today we're going to continue with our Golden Girls uh, journey. And this time it's with season two, episode six, titled Big Daddy's Little Girl. So I'm super excited to watch this episode as always. And um, if you're looking for the full length reaction to this episode or any of my other content, you can find that on Patreon and the link will be in the description below. And also I'll be adding in a pinned comment information if you guys want to support the channel by buying some of our merch, including the shirt that I'm wearing today which is thank you for being a subscriber i'm not sure if you guys could see it but here you go that's what it looks like <laughs> and uh yes and very soon i'll also be doing a, a giveaway to be able to give one of our white hoodies away so um without further ado let's get into this episode morning ma working on the crossword puzzle nope just lining up a few dates for let's what see, maria molinero 85, died of natural causes, survived by her husband, Tony Molinero. <laughs> Ma, you're getting dates out of the obituaries that's sick. <laughs> I just realized what she meant. It's practical. The Miami retailers are awarding $10,000 to the person who comes up with the best new song about the city of Miami. $10,000? That's right, I'm going to enter. Um, you? Well, Dorothy, I happen to have written songs before. I wrote the fight song for our high school. Onward, St. Olaf, they still sing it. <laughs> onward, St. Olaf, onward we go. Onward and onward, St. Olaf's go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go, go. Rose, Rose. You know, Rose, I have to confess, I uh, dabbled a little in poetry writing in high school. Mm. That's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> That's not what she meant. A lot of tall girls who wouldn't get dates wrote poetry in high school. <laughs> no, I meant that Gross. for $10,000, I might try my hand at lyric writing. I mean, maybe we could, uh, you know, team up. Hello? Oh, hello, Big Daddy. My father? No, 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 she's right here. Yeah, you take care, too. Bye-bye, Big. Bye-bye, <laughs> Big. <laughs> Big Daddy, how in the world are you? I'm just fine. Okay, I'll see you Friday at four. Bye-bye. Oh, this is so exciting. Big Daddy's gonna be here on Friday. Says he has a big surprise for me. Oh, I can't wait to see what it is. I don't believe it. Tony Molinaro won't go out with me Friday night. Oh, Ma, I'm not surprised. His wife just died. The man is still in mourning. No, that's not the reason Made Bloomfield beat me to him. <laughs> play or die oh shoot <laughs> Miami is nice so I'll say it twice Miami is nice Miami is nice Miami is wait a minute. wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute you put in an extra Miami is nice I had to it hurts the music if you don't put it in yeah but the lyrics don't make any sense well, what about this? Miami is nice, so I'll say it thrice. <laughs> right, who the hell says thrice? It's a word. So is interuterine. <laughs> <laughs> it does not belong in a song. <laughs> Miami, you're cuter than an interuterine. <laughs> Big Daddy, let me look at you. No, let me look at you. It's a oh, new Big you're Daddy. Still as pretty as a ladybug, sunning itself on a lily pad <laughs> on a misty spring day south of Savannah. Could you be more specific? <laughs> There's a lady friend that I've been spending a lot of time with recently. Oh, I'd like to meet her sometime. Missy, she's going to be here tomorrow evening. Just exactly what is this surprise, Daddy? <laughs> well, now, I don't want you to get too excited, but Margaret and I are planning on walking down the aisle together. Oh! <laughs> is she happy or sad? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never heard her make that sound before. That sounds happy. No, I once heard her make that sound, and I assure you, she was happy. <laughs> love to have the wedding here. And Dorothy and I'll even write a song to commemorate the occasion. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> oh, Dad, please. Oh, what if she ends up being, like, super young? I never could say no to you. <laughs> great news, Teresa Lombardi passed away. Ma, what's so great about that? Her husband, Freddie, he has nothing to do. 
And neither one of us has seen ruthless people. <laughs> I love Sophia. We really might have hit on something. Oh. M I A, another M I, M I A, M I, smells Miami Beach. Girl, it stirs emotion. Girl, it's <laughs> by the ocean. Girl, so bring your suntan. Girl, what? <laughs> I don't spell Miami Beach, I spells Miami. I told you not to add beach. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Please come in. I you knew. must be from the catering company. Nope, she's the Actually, wife. I'm from Atlanta. I'm Margaret Spencer. Whoa. Yup, I knew it. What a coincidence. Blanche's father is marrying a Margaret Spencer from Atlanta. It's her. <laughs> Only she's much older. I think. <laughs> What do you think, Dorothy? Whoa! <laughs> this is, uh, I'd like you to meet, uh, uh, say hello to Big Mommy. <laughs> it's so good to finally meet you, Blanche. Your father's told me so much about you. Oh, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> Margaret, please, uh, sit down. Maybe we ought to get her a booster seat. <laughs> uh, can I get you a drink? How about chocolate milk? <laughs> so, uh, Margaret, you're from Atlanta. Well, that's right. I think she's a gold digging huzzy. Well, you watch your tongue, Missy. I'm sorry, Daddy, but that woman is much too young for you. But well, she's practically my age. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to be in love with a younger woman. Why'd you keep it a secret? It's not a secret. I didn't think age mattered to you. It doesn't matter to either one of us. Oh, Daddy. What you're doing is wrong. You're just making a fool of yourself. Listen, Missy, as long as the good Lord keeps me on this earth, I'm your father. And don't you ever call me a fool. Daddy, this woman is not for you. You're just dragging our family name through the mud. Blanche, I've always given you my love and respect. If you can't give a little of that back, you're no longer a part of our family. Oh. Well, I mean... Yeah, no, I don't agree with that. No, no, no. You, you were doing great. She's still your daughter. She might not agree, but she's still your daughter. Well, girls, love has no definition. That's true. No That's true. Age has nothing to do with it. Sometimes two people who seem to have the least in common turn out to be the most in love. That was certainly the case with Ollie Knopf Settlermeyer and Molly Jane Doe. <laughs> Ollie and Molly? <laughs> Must we take yet another trip to Petticoat Junction? <laughs> the first woman who walked through that door was Molly Jane Doe, the town manicurist. For five extra dollars, she'd buff more than your nails. Well, damn. <laughs> five dollars? Well, it was during the Depression. <laughs> hey, in Italy, for five dollars, you got a woman a manicure, a cappuccino, and a box of Milano cookies to take home to your wife. <laughs> well, the point is nobody knows why two people fall in love, mm -hmm. and it's really nobody's business. Well, he's my father, so that makes it my business. I am going over there right now and give those two a piece oh. of my mind. Blanche, listen, if you go over there angry, you're just going to make things worse. Yep. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to say what I feel. Miami has so much appeal. Oh. A great place. To get a seafood meal, Miami. <laughs> Write that down, ladies. Write it down. Blanche, I'm not sure I want to see you. I reckon you spoke your piece already. Daddy, I've been thinking, and I think I'm starting to understand the reasons you're doing what you're doing. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Her husband died two years ago, shortly after your mama. I didn't know. She loves me, and I love her, and we want to get married. I'm sorry, Daddy. Seems like every time I'm trying to help you, it just turns out you don't need me. Now, that's not true. The reason Margaret and I came down here in the first place is because we do need you. We need your blessing on our marriage. It looks like you and I have more in common than we thought. We both love Big Daddy. We want him to be happy. So welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm so proud of her. Please, the big news is he lived through the wedding. <laughs> You know people in their 70s and 80s can have great sex. Yeah, with people in their 70s and 80s. <laughs> Put me in a bedroom with Tom Cruise and you'd be peeling me off the ceiling. <laughs> oh, hello there, how'd you do? We came in second. Oh, that's terrific, what'd you get? Treated badly. Aww. They told us to get out of the way when they took the winner's picture with Anita Bryant. Oh. Miami, Miami. Miami, you got style. Blue sky, sunshine, white sand by the mile. Each view is a postcard. Each day a great time. The cream of the crop hits the top of the line. Miami, you got style. You've got style. Yay! All right, guys. So we just finished watching episode six of season two titled Big Daddy's Little Lady. So Big Daddy is back, unfortunately, with a different actor. Um, I enjoy this actor just as much as I did the first one. Um, and uh, great acting on, on both parts. So he kept the essence of who Big Daddy was. Um, but this time, Big Daddy comes in with a surprise. Well, a bigger surprise than the last time. Why does Big Daddy always come in with surprises? First, he's a musician, and now he's getting married. So he tells the ladies that he's going to get married. And um, so they insist on having the wedding at the house. But unfortunately, when uh, Blanche meets her new stepmommy, or her soon-to-be stepmommy, is a little bit of a problem because there is a massive age difference between Big Daddy and Big Mama. So, so um, yes, so she's also a widow. And um, of course, Blanche is not happy because she feels like that woman is only trying to go after her dad for his moolah. So um, she decides to go and face him. And through a conversation that they had, she finally starts to understand that it might not be about money. It might be about love after all, because both of them have lo lost their the love of their lives. And if they want to get married again, then it must mean that they are in love because it would take a lot for, for somebody to try to get married again after the loss of a significant other, the way that they lost their partners. So um, at the end, uh, Blanche was willing to accept the fact that Big Daddy is in love and he's getting married and hopefully they'll live happily ever after. Hopefully you get to see Big Daddy again. Do not tell me in the comments. <laughs> But I really do hope that we get to see him again. Um, and also, uh, in the same episode, um, Rose and Dorothy were signing up to be able to write a jingle for or a song representing Miami to be able to win $10,000. Although they came in second, I loved their song. And I loved how uh, Rose, sorry, uh, Blanche and um, Sophia joined them at the end to be able to sing it with them. And it's a really catchy song. So I think I'm going to find myself singing it from time to time. <laughs> but again, great episode. Love um, this show. Loved our girls. And um, and I loved the 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 outcome for Big Daddy. Because again, yes, we do, you know, put our nose up to people who have a big, big age difference. But the truth is, you don't know, we don't know what happens between two people. And, um, you know, love is love. And it's not our job to dictate who can fall in love with whom. And also, like, people just happen to fall in love. It sucks. Sometimes it's in the worst possible ways. It hurts other people. But um Ultimately, love is a beautiful thing. And if those two people were able to find love with each other and they're not hurting anybody else, then what's what's not to love, right? And what's not to accept. So I'm happy that at the end, um, everybody understood that. Let them live. Let them let them be happy. That's what matters. Um, so, yes, a great episode. And I can't wait to see what the season brings us next. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Mwah. Bye.